Hello, first grade. Today we're going to make the pinch pot out of clay. You will have received a container with clay and a piece of wallpaper. You can add a pencil, maybe a fork, and a marker wig. So we're going to take the clay out of the plastic bag and it is wrapped in a wet paper towel. Clay is dirt and water mixed together. The Native Americans would make clay and then what they would do is they would make what we call a pinch pot and that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to take our clay and we're going to roll it into a ball. This helps get the air bubbles out of the clay. Once you get a really nice ball, we're going to use our thumb. Our thumb starts the pinch pot. This will be kind of like a little bowl. Now I'm going to do a pinching motion. I'm going to squeeze my thumb and fingers together as I move the clay in my hand. The hole in the clay will get larger, looking very much like a bowl. The Native Americans would use bowls for carrying things, storing things, and drinking water out of, cooking. Once you've finished pinching so that it's flat on the bottom and it won't roll, give it a good tap. It makes the bottom flat. If you see any cracks, just smooth it with your finger. The clay is very soft. Now I'm ready to make some patterns with my tools. You can use the marker lid and make circles. You can use, even use both sides. You can do patterns on the inside and patterns on the outside. You can use your pencil to draw shapes. Letters and designs. You can use the fork and it draws four lines at the same time. If you don't like what you've done, you can gently Take your finger and smooth a line off and redraw it. Once you've decorated your pinch pot, you need to let it sit for one week. The water will leave the clay, we call that evaporation, and then it will be hard. If you would like to bring it to school, please put your name on the bottom and your class. I will then fire it and you can paint it. If you don't want to bring it back to school, 
let it dry for a week, and then you can paint it or use markers to add color. When we do this at school, I put it in the kiln and I fire it in a special oven, which is called a kiln, and it becomes hard like a rock. We call that ceramic. I hope you had fun.